Hello and welcome to this video. For those of you who have used my spawn codes, you know you need the right values to spawn certain objects. To make this easier, I have programmed a spawn code generator, which you see here. I programmed it using C++. Let's just close this for a moment. When you download the file from a site, it will be a zip archive, which you'll need to extract to somewhere on your hard drive. Then you will have these files you see here. To start the program, just double click this exe file. To run this program, you will need Windows XP or later, and the .NET Framework 3.5 or later, which most Windows users should have. If not, please download from the Microsoft website. So here we have Spawn Code Generator version 0.1. It is in beta, so if there are any problems, please let me know, but it should be working fine. Now, to use this program is very simple. First of all, you need to select whether you want NTSC or PAL codes. If you need any help working that out, then just ask and I'll help you find that out. After you've made that selection, you can then pick from this drop down what objects you want to spawn. There are currently 126 objects for you to choose on, but there's a lot more objects in the game. These are just ones I've gone through and checked, so they should all be compatible with the spawn code it generates, this program, which is version 3. If you do have any problems or there's any more objects you would like to be added, then please do let me know and I can make those corrections or add those objects. So all you need to do is select an object. See there's all different types of the same type of object where there's different versions. So if I pick Chukya for example, it automatically puts in the behavior values for you. With certain objects it will come up notes. So it tells you that mushroom moves fast. This one moves slowly. You will need to only spawn, or I should say it's best to only spawn objects in the levels they normally would be in, unless the notes, this section here says you can spawn in other levels. You can also input the values you want straight away right into these input boxes, but they must be in hex value only, like you see it's D4, not 0 times D4, just D4. So it has to be in that correct format. When you've made a selection or you entered the values yourself, just click on make code, like so. And see the code appears in this box here. If you're using a real N64 and cheat code cartridge, you can then enter the values. If you're using an emulator, you can go on select code and copy, and then go to your emulator. For example, go to Project64, open ROM, uh, NTSC, and then we're going to cheats. Just put that on. I've already got spawn here, so I'm just gonna overwrite that like so and paste that in. Uh, so this is one up mushroom type five. Like so. That's a go, that's a go, come on. Now you see YE, that's the code running, and just press A, or A is L, I should say. Just check that moves slowly, yep. Yeah. Uh, what I mean, when I said A, that's what the L button's mapped to, it's actually the L button that you need to press, see L is mapped to A on the keyboard. Okay, and there you have it. Now, if you want to, you can edit the behavior values for the different objects yourself. If you look at this file here in the files you downloaded, BHV values, if you open this up, it's just a simple plain text document. Now, the very first value in the file must be the total number of objects. The C is 126. Then, for every object, you need these repeated values, which is the object name, so in this case 1up mushroom type 1, then the object behavior segment and offset value, 
then the behavior graphic ID, behavior extra value, and then the notes. If there are no notes, like in some of the objects further down, you just leave it blank. So you just have to repeat those values, name, offset and segment, graphic ID, extra and notes for every single object. I programmed the spawn code generator so it should detect most errors like incorrect values, uh, missing files and so on. But please do let me know if you have found any bugs or you're just having trouble editing this file. And Thank you for watching. Just to add, there is an Easter egg in the spawn code generator, so good luck on finding that. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Bye.